Hello, this is the Dallas Culture Club, and this is the McKinney Avenue Transit Authority. And we're here today to show you what it's like to ride on a historic trolley in the city of Dallas, from uptown to downtown, all around the track. Come on in and let's take a ride. Inside Dallas Tours. Let's go. The McKinney Avenue trolley runs 365 days a year. We're on an almost five mile track through uptown, down through the Dallas Arts District, a little bit of downtown by Federal, and back up to uh, the uptown station in uptown. We are the way to get around the Arts District and uptown. Hey Dallas Culture Club, I'm Allison Powell here at the M-Line Trolley Car Barn. We have 39 stops on the route and I want you to come with me to see a few of my favorites. So we are at Uptown Station at City Place West Boulevard. This is a very popular stop for visitors because there's the dark connection at City Place Station across 75 with easy access to get to Uptown Station for the trolley. This stop has a lot of great restaurants. So we have Grimaldi's Pizzeria, we have Babouche Mediterranean, and we also have Mutt's Cantina, which is exactly what it sounds like, a dog park with a bar inside. We are at the West Village stop on Cole Avenue. If you're not familiar with West Village, it is filled with restaurants, shops, and entertainment. So. Just to name a few, there's Malai Kitchen, which is Thai Vietnamese fusion, and one of my personal favorites. We have Crew Wine Bar, Namo Sushi, and there's also the Violet Crown at Dallas Theater, which is a boutique style theater. We are at Olive and Woodall Rogers, which is our Clyde Warren Park stop. If you're not familiar with Clyde Warren, it's a big open green space. There is a playground. They oftentimes have live music and activities, as well as food trucks. We're also in the heart of the Arts District, so we have Nasher Sculpture Center, as well as the Migerson, which houses our symphony orchestra. And you cannot forget to visit the Dallas Museum of Arts. No matter what stop you get off on, within a block, you're going to be accessible to food, drink, shopping, or some fabulous activity. It's a lot of people that uh, relish the idea of getting on the trolley. It's a lot of people that live here that still haven't got on the trolley, but when they do, they hate that they missed it. I enjoy it. We meet people from all over the world, literally. Paris, France, you name it. They come, Australia. And uh, it's a job that's not really like coming to work. Yeah, you meet a lot of interesting people. So the trolley to me is the best of both worlds. It mixes the old with the new. So I love, I love that uh, it's a free ride. I love things that are accessible to the community. Uh, it's not exclusive to any one group or demographic, and it really does get families and their out-of-town friends like out and about to explore and experience Dallas in a way that they don't do when they're driving in a car. So I personally, as a lifelong Dallasite, I personally love that. In 19... 89, we opened service on the McKinney Avenue line from Hall Street down to the Dallas Museum of Art. The rest, as I say, is history. It's, it's built on itself uh, every year since. In, in, the, in the early days, uh, the first four or five years, we were only carrying 40,000 passengers a year. So it's more of a novelty uh, than, than, a, than a, uh, a form of transportation that now upwards of 600,000 riders a year are riding our system. 
it's, it's been really fun to see the neighborhood grow and with it uh, uh, us grow and become uh, a form of transportation for uptown and downtown. As far as uptown goes, I think that, that our system, I use the word character, I think it adds, it adds a unique character to a neighborhood whenever you have a, a streetcar system, especially if it's, if it's historic. And three of our seven cars are cars that actually ran on the streets of Dallas before, before 1956. So uh, uh, we're saving history, uh, we're preservationists, and uh, we like old things. <laughs>I think it's great that you have a trolley in Dallas. Uh, it's, it just brings such like a culture, such a, like you read some of the science on some of the history of what it is about the trolley and like the, how it got brought back and just, it's great that you have it here and just you can hop on and hop off a, I don't know, it's a great thing and uh, we don't have it from where I'm from so I think it's great that you have it. It takes a strong team to keep all of these trolleys running. Remember, they're from all over the world. They're all different, so we have to learn each trolley's idiosyncrasies, and they work hard to keep them running every day and also to restore them to their glory. I think one of the most important things that people would find surprising to learn is that our team of six to eight folks in this barn keep up with the majority of these seven or eight trolleys. Um, I'm Jim Kenny. I'm the Chief Safety Officer for the Transit. What we do here is, as you can see, we are a train. So we do everything like the trains across the country and we have to deal with the FTA, we deal with TxDOT, um, we have to deal with the bureaucracies across whatever the state needs us to do, we have to do because we follow all the train guidelines. So we have a, a great track record here. We have done a, a lot of good things keeping the safety of our passengers, the safety of Dallas, the safety of our employees. Um, and we do whatever we can to make sure that people are safe, they enjoy the ride, they have a good time seeing Dallas, and they get to just have a good time on a 100-year-old vintage trolley. That, with that, you get to see the sights and sounds, and then along with that, you get to just enjoy being part of the past. Right now, for us, we do everything maintenance-wise. We do anything from working on the axles, the motors. As you see, the car's up on jacks. We'll give her a complete overhaul right now, a uh, new fresh coat of uh, paint. Uh, so we do all the maintenance, we do all the woodwork construction, we replace the windows, do the complete electrical systems on every car we have here. We run these cars original design, original operation that they did back in the original times. So these are not replica cars that some places have. The most important part I think about this is the community side of it because we are having an effect on people's experience in Dallas. And I think that's one of the most important parts of working here. That's more of the, that's where you get your value. Dallas Culture Club, we are so delighted that you came to see us today. I hope you got an insight look at what goes on behind the scenes. We'll be delighted to see you here any time of the year. Guys? Come back and see you. I can see us. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Hey Dallas, thanks for watching another episode of Inside Dallas Tours. And don't forget to subscribe today. And by the way, if you want to watch more cool videos about Dallas culture and food, check this one out. Check it out.